Hello again everyone and welcome to our day three Hawaii vlog. Today is a super fun day as it's our snorkel day. It's our redo of the day before which was not great. So keep watching to see all the stuff we saw and to see our favorite snorkel spots. So about an hour down from our hotel in Waikoloa is our favorite place to snorkel. This is possibly my favorite place to snorkel on all of the islands but it's definitely my favorite place to snorkel on the big island. And the parking here used to be free. They are now charging because they're looking to do some renovations to the patio where the volunteers sit under. This is a volunteer run beach. The state does not fund it. So all parking proceeds go directly to helping restore this beach. The volunteers here are super helpful and will gladly tell you where the best spots are to snorkel, where the most fish are for the day and what the water conditions are. They're also adamant about you using mineral sunscreen, so coral safe sunscreen. They are trying to regrow a lot of the coral that is here, so please respect the ocean and do your part. Don't wear any chemical sunscreens that contain chemicals that can kill or harm the corals. They do provide free sunscreen for you, that's SPF 30 I believe. So if you don't have any chemical free sunscreens, there are some here for you. If you need a higher SPF protection, definitely bring your own. The parking here does fill up pretty quickly. We got here pretty early in the morning. This is our first stop and the parking was already pretty full. So get here in the morning so you get a spot on the beach and so that you can get a spot to park. There is a lifeguard on duty and there are showers here for you to use. It's also the best time to snorkel in the morning I have found. The morning and early afternoon are the best times to snorkel. You literally see fish here from as soon as you jump into the water. There are a lot of tangs here in different varieties. There's also just a lot of different sea life. So you'll be sure to see some really cool stuff when you come. And that's one of the reasons why I love this place so much. You do have to swim out a little bit to start seeing the really big corals that you see here. So if you're not a super strong swimmer and not a swimmer that can handle not standing, then definitely don't come out this far. They don't want you standing past a certain point. So just do your part and be respectful and know your limits. You don't want to harm any of the corals that are trying to grow. Now we're driving down a little bit to go to Two Step, which we had never been to before. And I was honestly quite surprised once we got into the water here. There is free street parking at Two Step if you can find any. We did get here midday, so parking was not plentiful. There is a lot right across the beach that you can pay $5 to park, which is a really fair price. So we paid it, parked, and now we're gonna go swim. So here at Two Step, you also see marine life as soon as you get into the water. What we're showing you now is what we usually see on these Two Step videos. We were super surprised once we swam out a little bit and went around the cove on what we saw. So once you make your way out outside that little cove and out into the ocean a little bit, you come across this giant just field of corals. 
and it was actually really nice. We had watched a lot of two-step videos prior to this trip and our previous trip and none of the videos that we saw ever showed people going out this far. So we were really surprised to see how much sea life and marine life there was here. So really nice, a really nice surprise for us. And I'm super glad that we came out to Two Step this time. It was just really nice to be able to swim around. The water was really calm. It did get deep, so you're pretty high up if you're claustrophobic. And maybe the fish bowl is a little bit too tight quarters, tight space for you. This is definitely more breathable and more room for you to swim around. I really enjoyed my time here. I was really surprised. The water here was super blue and super clear. And while there weren't a ton of fish that you could see really close, just being on a field of coral was really nice and not something that I've experienced snorkeling on the Hawaiian Islands. And especially on a snorkel that you don't have to go out on a boat for, this is really something special and I'm super glad that we did it this time. The only downside to two step is getting out and we mean actually physically getting out it was a little bit tricky for us to find our way back the way we came because the water had shallowed and our channels were pretty pretty shallow and so we decided to go up the two steps that this is known for and we had a little bit of a challenging time we were fighting the waves quite a bit to get ourselves up and out of the water we were getting thrown into the rock a little bit. We got our knees scraped up, nothing bad, but we did get a little cut up. And as we were leaving, we realized, you know what? We saw a lot of people bloodied when we were coming in. So that should have been an indication to us of this beach is kind of a little dangerous. Um, so it is hard to get out of when you are going out from the two steps. You're fighting the waves, you have your fins on, it's, there's urchins on the walls. So it is really hard to get out of. If you are not a strong swimmer and not someone who's really confident in the water, I might say this is a skip for you. It was a little bit sketchy even for David and I, and um, it was a little bit hard for us to get out, and we did get banged up a little bit. We really liked Two Step. We're super glad that we came and did it this trip. We're not sure if we would come back here just because of how difficult it was for us to come out of the ocean but it's definitely worth coming to at least once and we probably will be back in the future we just don't know how soon in the future on our way back up to kona for happy hour we stopped at this outdoor marketplace which we had been to before and i would recommend coming if you have time to stop there's just little cute little shops that you can take a peek around at it's not super big so it won't take up too much time there is free parking and the prices here are really fair we picked up a few souvenirs for us and I enjoy coming here. Our next stop of the day is gonna be at the Royal Kona Resort where we stayed at the last time we were on the big island and I really like this property a lot. We are a fan of the happy hour here. They have happy hour with lava flows. And I didn't think the lava flows were anything spectacular on our first trip here, but I was thinking about them all year. So I guess they were pretty good. So we came here, we're gonna do happy hour and get some lava flows, some beers and have a good evening. This is the best happy hour with the best view. While we're waiting for our table to be ready for happy hour, there is a little swimming hole here at the Royal Kona. It's a little spot that they have tucked away on the, on the left side of the property. And there are some fish in here, but it's a super calm place to swim. It's a little cove. There are eels in here. I haven't seen any, but I hear that there are some. 
And I took a dip before we went to happy hour and just kind of relaxed and unwound and enjoyed the evening. Our buffalo fries here were probably worth a skip. The poke nachos were the best and the other nachos weren't bad. Our drinks are definitely worth it. The Mai Tais were delicious. All right guys, so that concludes our day three here at the Big Island in Hawaii. We had a fun filled day of snorkeling and we ended it with happy hour. It was a fun day. I can't wait to see what we're gonna do tomorrow. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.